We're with Oz, at expert sleepers. Uh, you've got a new module that you're, you're showing off at Synthfest. It's it's an incredibly versatile bit of kit, isn't it? That does it is an incredibly rather a lot of things. It does a lot of things, so and it's very and sort of hard to do a quick demo yeah. of. But there it is. Um, it's a new disting, the disting NT. It's the latest in my range of disting modules, which started 10 years ago. Direct successor to the disting EX. Um, it, like all distings, it does a whole load of different things. But whereas the other distings generally did one or two things from that huge list of things, this can do a whole load of things at the same time. And because it's got a lot more inputs and outputs and a bigger screen, it can do all those things and you can set it all up. So just by way of a quick demo, I'm just going to load some presets. Um, I don't want to give the impression that it's designed to just do a big monolithic preset, but it's an awful lot easier to demonstrate a big monolithic preset. So for example, this is one of the factory presets. Um, it's a kind of self-playing algorithmic patch. And you can see here, this is the stack of uh, algorithms it's running. A clock, some shift register random generators, quantizer, sample player, delay, and reverb. So the, the way you use this is you add things in this list. You jump into their parameters and set up what it's doing. So some, typically there's some kind of, what are the inputs, what are the outputs? For the clock, you've got things like um, the clock division. Just run through your list and set everything up. Sample player. Um, yeah, and then, it, and then it does stuff, really. Uh, that's that's so just switching the sample selection. So I guess the, 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 what I want to get across here is that it's it's the disting concept, but more accessible. And the accessibleness comes partly in the kind of ob obvious physical sense of it being bigger and bigger screen, easier to read, easier to use. But it's also kind of conceptually more accessible in what have been fairly large chunks of things to get your head around have been broken down into smaller features. Yeah. And even when there are a lot of things, like in this particular algorithm, even that's been broken down into kind of categories of things, so you're not wading through this big list of stuff. Um, let's just load up another self-playing patch just to keep it varied. So this is a similar, similar kind of thing. In this case, we've got um, Euclidean patterns. So there we go. So I mean, that gives you more, an idea of what we can do now. We've got a bigger screen to play with. Some Euclidean patterns. Um, one of the algorithms is modulating another one, so you can kind of see the pattern is actually changing, which is through an internal routing from one of the other algorithms. You can map everything to CVs through the CV inputs. You can map everything to MIDI or I2C if you're into that kind of thing. And um, yeah, it's all the distant goodness of audio processing, CV processing, synthesizers, quantizers, everything. And it's my stated goal to eventually have this do everything that any one of the previous modules has ever done and then some more. Um, so yeah, that's out yep. in the shops as of two days ago. Yep. And uh, 599 pounds, uh, whatever that is in your local currency. Fantastic. Oz, thanks very much for your time. Thank you for coming Cheers. by. Cheers.